Son of a bitch. How is this happening? I'm here at Paramount Studios with Ben Menchiranto, a famous producer I can finally pitch my fully realized and complete story to, and I forgot my stuff at home. Orville and Glyphberger lost again. Paul is taking time off work to help me. Ah, this is such a clusterfuck. Stu and Roger got me in here and I blew it. Now I'm just stuck here on set with these background actors. I hope Paul or Orville gets here before we leave. I think we're ready for set. Okay, guys. Wait. Uh, hold on. Frederick should be back from break. Great. Hopefully there's a lot more takes. Saves me some time until one of those guys gets here. Just, just wait. Oh. Hey, Jim. Uh -huh. It's Papita. Frederick's like okay. to... What is this PA doing? I have to reset a wall still. Tell okay. Puppy I'm does. sorry, guys. I, okay. I got these people talking to my ear. Bring them in. All right. Let's uh, go back to set. Hold a second, Jimmy. I want to take some wardrobe picks for continuity. Oh, Jerome, he needs us now. Hush, it'll only take a minute. All right, guys, line up. I'm going to take your picture. Hey, Jimmy, we need background on set right now. Oh, tell Frederick to pound some salt. We don't have time know, for that, Fred. Jimmy. I know, I know. Jerome's taking continuity for Now. Us. Okay, everybody, one more for good measure. Ready, beautiful, gorgeous. All right, now go be amongst the horror. Man, there are some characters on set. I should have done this earlier to find my cast for Blood and Sacrifice. Stu's lucky he doesn't have to deal with this. Have you ever worked with this director before? No. First time, actually. Never worked with Ben Men Toronto either, but... Oh, I have. Um, a couple years ago, I was on Street Trails. Fun day. Nice. Oh, okay, Stu, we got a word from the execs. We're gonna take a little different angle. Not so much anger this time, more romance. So if we try that, great. I'll give it a shot. Thanks. Give it a shot. Weird. Deal with them. I guess it was a new character for Jonathan. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> hey Rick, sorry I missed your calls. I was in an important conference with a client. Yeah, that's cool, Paul. Yeah, I'll... Hey, anyway, listen, um, Maria's here. She wants to talk to you. Here you go. Paul, how dare you accept a raise without my permission? What? I thought Rick okayed it with you. Rick? What? I'm sorry. Look, do whatever you gotta do. I didn't need the raise. Why don't you give yourself raises? That's exactly what I'm gonna do, sweetie. You guys... Idiots! Looks like Mama's gotta do what Mama's gotta do. Uh... Sorry, Paul. Yeah, bye. What's up, Sylvan? Hey, Paul. How's the conference going? Any exciting news? Fuck you, Sylvan! Aren't you being a little harsh? Yeah, I guess. I kinda like it. <laughs> God, he's an asshole too! So, you look like a couple good guys. You guys want each other business? No. Yeah, we do! Well, actually, I guess we can say we do. <laughs> And yeah, man. Hey, my friends, do you know the Charlie Chaplin or the Donald Duck? Oh, hell yeah, man. They're the best. Yes, sir. I think I saw one of those guys just the other day. Oh, man. Congrats. Hey, before I forget, where are you going? <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this pantomiming thing. It's kind of funny, actually. I can say things like, you're a stupid idiot. Or, this is fucking stupid and a waste of time. I'm sure you agree as well. <laughs> this is really chill. Stu's over there doing his thing. Looks like the directors aren't liking it, though. Okay, Stu, I need kind of a more uh, mystical look in the eyes. Did you really just say that? I'm trying, sir. I mean, is there a reason for this change? I mean... <laughs> There's nothing in the script that says we have to do it like this. There's nothing in here that says there's a romantic quality. The script says nothing. Look, executive orders uh, can't budge. Just do it, okay? <sighs> Whatever. I, I, I mean, okay, let's do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Damn. Stu's getting angry. All right, beautiful. All right, guys, let's take another take. All right. Please be quiet. Rolling. Camera speeds. Sound speed. 1B, take three. And action. 
Has Bray contacted you yet? No, he hasn't. Figures. I know, but hey, I think we should just keep that between the two of us. Let's just keep it on wraps. Why do you care, Jonathan? You know he's just going to figure it out anyway. Oh, no, it's not. And look, I just don't think it's worth it to do all that over a two-bit friend anyways. All right, cut. Checking the gate. Let me listen for notes. Looks like he's not liking those changes. Yeah, definitely not. I actually know him, so I probably know what he's thinking. You know him? You know the principal? Yeah. Who's his agent? Does he have info? Do you have info? Wait, who's your agent? Do, do you have the weights? Oh my gosh. This chick is psycho. Okay guys, let's go again. Everybody please be quiet. Another take. Rolling. Camera speeds. Speed. Stu, a little more intensity. A little more intensity. Okay, Frederick. Wait! Let me fix your jacket. Still rolling. Come on, really, Jerome? Frederick, I'm not speaking to you. Wait, okay. There, well done. So sorry, guys. Please continue. Okay, wonderful. Sorry about that. And action. Okay, guys. We all now have raises. Everybody makes more than they did two hours ago. Nobody speaks of this to anyone. Yeah. Maria, what the fuck are you doing giving everybody raises? I have access to the account. You know that, right? Oh, Marcus, you frugal bastard. It's about time. Hello? Say that again? Say it again, cheap ass bastard. Ooh, I love it when you talk like that. Cheap up Come on, baby. Give it to me. Yeah. Anyway, what are you wearing right now? Whatever. Oh, this traffic sucks, Dad. I know, Paul. It's Los Angeles. And it's Friday. Is that what you called to talk to me about? No, it's just... I'm too nice of a guy, okay? I just had the most amazing day at work. And now Matt wants me to go do him a favor. What does he need now? He's at Paramount Studios right now pitching his film Blood and Sacrifice. No kidding. That's awesome. Yeah, but he left the DVD and the script at home. Now I gotta go get it. Oh boy. That kid. Where's his head these days? <sighs> Work's calling. I'll catch you later. Oh, okay. Good luck, son. Hey, Paul. So about the raise. Well, it turns out that there was, um... This file paperwork. So... There is no raise at this time. Um... Bye. Fucking shit! Shit, man. I don't know how, but we did it. Hey, thanks, actor. It's been a blast. Hey, my friend, you kick ass. Remember to try the piñata? This time you go to the Salon de Dulce. Okay, man. Well, here we are. Shall we? Yes, let us advance. Did somebody say advance? Here's the thing about advancing, gentlemen. It's a personal journey. You two. See, you made it to Hollywood. I think he was a mirage. Yeah, you're right. First team. Thank you, second team. Still can't get over Stu's stand-in. Yeah, so... Stand-ins, am I right? Yep. Scene 1C. Take 7. And action. Has Ray called you yet? No. Still waiting on his response. Figures. 
Look, we gotta keep this under wraps. What's the point, Jonathan? You know he's just gonna find out. Look, there's much more at stake than a two-bit friend. Cut! What am I doing wrong? Too much attitude. What are you talking about? <sighs> okay. All right, what are the lines again? No, he hasn't. Still waiting on his call. Whoa. They gave you the key as well? No. <laughs> I had my ways. I'm not even gonna ask. Okay, where is this DVD? We gotta burn it. Hey. He explained it to me though. Let's see. Maybe we should read the instruction manual. No, I think it's... Might be this button. Oh shit! It's burning! Oh my goodness! My gosh! You know something? Maybe you're a genius after all. It's no nothing. Shit. Oh gosh, I hate doing favors for people. More Stewart. More, more Stewart. No, I'm still waiting on his response. More, more Stewart. Come on, more. more, more. No, I am still waiting on his response. All right, cut. All right, Stewart. We're gonna take it back, settle it down. We'll go again. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I need to take a break. I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> Shit, man, that's a fucking joke, man. Everyone's gotta mess with me, man. Stewart. Hey, man, there you are. Hey, Carl. So the executive producers want to speak with you. Want to speak with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I want to speak with them. Absolutely ridiculous. All right. Uh, wait here. Uh, excuse me, sir. Mr. Rosewood is outside. Should I send him in? All right, the Monta Batons will see you. Monta Batons? Stuart! Vermeer? How are you doing, my friend? Great! This is my brother, Pablo. Hello, sir. It is a great honor to meet the illustrious Stuart Rosewood. My brother, he's been telling me a great deal about you. Awesome. Yeah, man, I've worked with your brother before. He's a real stand-up individual. I didn't know you guys were executive producing. Don't mention it. Okay, fellas, let's discuss Jonathan. Stuart, have a seat. Of course. Are you hungry? Sure. I'll take a sandwich. Thanks, Vermeer. Shit. We gotta go to Paramount. Fuck. I didn't even get Hector's info. Hmm. Perhaps? We should ride a bicycle. No, I don't like riding bikes. Wait a minute! Great Kinnear! He'll give us a ride. <sighs> Roger Hauser? Sir, it is you who is a genius. That's what I've been trying to burn into your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! We're in business, brother! Should we grab anything else? Uh, yes. That, this, and the whole shebang. Let's go. Well, back to waiting with this bunch. Now I know what they meant by it dragging. Still, ah, why is this so nerve-wracking? Do I even need the DVD or script? Am I being a bitch? Yeah, I think I am. Man. Are you okay, Matt? Yeah, you're not talking much. Yeah, the reality of this job is set in, hasn't it? Shut up, Jack. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I, I, I forgot to feed my cat. What? Really, dude? Seriously? No, no that's, that's that's not what I'm... What the fuck? Alright, copy, copy. Okay, guys, so uh, we got at least about 20 more minutes until they bring us back in. They're reconfiguring the scene. 
Um, but I hear that once we get back in there, then we're going to be done in a couple takes. Thanks, Jimmy. Oh, shit. Don't have much time left here. Paul, hope you're close, man. Where's the script? Where's the laptop? Where is it? Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, Paul? Where's your laptop? It's at home on the desk in the kitchen. No, it's not, dude. I'm here right now and I don't see DVD or script anywhere. What? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I don't know, Paul? Maybe Orville took it? You asked Orville as well? You know what? Goodbye, Matt. Ah, oh, fuck. Jeez. You gotta be kidding me. That son of a... It's time. Goodbye, Cruel World. Steward, would you like a cookie? Mm -mm. This is good. I'll have another one. Pablo, leave it alone. You already had too much. What are you, crazy? <laughs> okay, guys, let's get down to brass tacks here. Why do you want to change Jonathan on the spot like this? We had such a great rehearsal. I mean, why? Steward, it's a matter of ethics. <sighs> Your chemistry and charisma is waning. Waning? What are you talking about? Look, brother, let me tell you a little tale when I was a little child. We grew up in Drab Avalon, a very dangerous place, and we were meek at the time. We had to walk through a minefield every day to get to school and to get home. Extremely dangerous. I would send my brother first through the minefield. Vermeer had good eyes, and he lived, and I lived. <laughs> What am I gonna do? How could I leave that shit at home? Man, it's all my fault. I blew it. Could have been talking to Ben by now. I could have pitched Blood and Sacrifice already. He probably would have liked it. I mean, wait. Oh my god. Dude. Matt. Now or never. It's showtime. I'll talk to you later. Uh, Ben? Yes? Um... I'm, I'm a filmmaker, uh, and a screenwriter, uh, who's, uh... I've, I've written this screenplay called, uh, Blood and Sacrifice. It's really intense. Hmm. Blood and Sacrifice, huh? Hmm. What's it about? Uh, it's, it's about, a it's about a lawyer who uh, has to save his brother's life uh, while also protecting his client whom his brother injured. Um, yeah, I, I got the screenplay all written, um, but... But what? I, I, I don't have... Uh... He doesn't know how to tell you this, but this film is riveting and heartbreaking. All shot for under 10 Gs. Full cast and crew, written, produced, and directed by this man right here, Matt Hopkins. Hmm. Uh, th that's actually the script and the rough cut, so, uh, you know. Boy, you guys got a lot of nerve thinking you can come and talk to me. Don't you know who I am? Uh, obviously you do. Listen, I'm gonna give you the same spiel I tell all these writers. I'm done with crime dramas for good. I'm finished with them. I spent the last 10 and a half years of my career on them. I'm done with him. Thank you anyway. I appreciate it, but as you can see, I'm very busy and working a new show here. Just not about crime. Sir, listen to me. Blood and Sacrifice is the greatest story ever, ever. Sir, do you need me to remove them for you? That's all right. You're making a bad decision right now. The worst 
decision you could possibly imagine. You're going to hurt the nicest, most awesome dude on the planet. He's a fucking beast, knees. Listen to your heart, Mr. Mitteranto. Feel the breeze of your cool, good conscience. Mm. Yes, and take a look at Blood and Sacrifice. And then give my man, Matt, here a raise a, or a platter or whatever you give people like that. Hmm. Are these guys gonna be in it? Well, yeah, no, of course they're in the film, but I mean, you did say you were done with crime dramas. Yeah, but I pay to see these guys, they're funny. Well, I mean, funny you should say something. Mr. Hopkins here is working on a new pilot. It's about a couple of LA kids that come from all over the country and deal with the struggles of everyday life. Oh baby, you know it. Yeah, we're total fuck-ups. Not gonna lie. Well, did you bring a pilot with you? No, but we can schedule a meeting to get down to brass tacks. Hmm, a businessman, huh? Well, I'm interested in this reality series with these two guys. But this lawyer show, a little old and tired and boring for me. Okay, boys. Here's my card. Here's my card. Roger Hauser. Give me a call. We'll set up a meeting with Mr. Hopkins and let's discuss the new pilot. Okay, listen, fellas. I gotta get going back to work here. Nice talking to you all. Holy shit, Roger! Oh, why'd you tell him I had a pilot with these guys? Dude, you literally just have to press play on the camera. These guys are a walking pilot. Yeah, he's right, you know? I could get my bungee cord. Oh, good idea, and I could bring my hopscotch. My hopscotch. No, you traded, no trade backs. You bastard. <laughs> well, shit. Kind of confused. What the fuck just happened? Dude, you just set up a meeting with Mr. Menchiranto to discuss your new pilot. What? You must be dreaming or something. Uh, I, I don't know what to say, uh... I can't thank you guys enough. Like, you guys are fucking awesome. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I, I would never have dreamed this would have happened. Aww, I love you too, Chico. With pleasure. <laughs> then after five million dollars, a French poodle, and a new wife, and three cheeseburgers, I found myself at the premiere of the Calco appointment. The first film I financed on my own. Without any interference from the Federal Reserve, from the IRS, from Interpol, or Justice Department, our money is clean. No one can find the source of our money. No one will connect you to the source of our money. Holy shit, Vimir. I had no idea. Now I know why you care so much. Dude, the Carlicle appointment was a huge movie when I was growing up. You produced that? Yes, Mr. Rosewood. With love and passion. And that is who Vermeer is, and that is who you are. And that is what we need Jonathan to be. You feel me, dude? Absolutely, Vermeer. I'm gonna make you proud. Steward, you already have my friend. You just needed to hear it from me personally. You're so right, Vermeer. Let's do this! Okay, buddy, go get him. I need another cookie. No, that's enough. You already had too much. Come on, come, can you get some more? Go pop it. Da, da. I will talk about it. Yes, see you guys later. Who is not a bit of cookie? Da, da. Get me the hummus, come here. No, 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 no. Come on. Good luck, Stu. Now we got to film this new pilot. I mean, we can start by. All right, guys, let's head back to set. They said this should be the last shot. The martini. Oh shit, it's about time. Well, let's not jump to conclusions, let's just go to set. Shit guys, uh, I gotta, I gotta do this right now, but uh, you know, we'll catch up with you later. Thanks again though, I, I, I can't even believe it. Thanks again. I love you Chico. Go get him you sexy bitch! Well, that was awesome. Not what I was expecting, but still awesome.
Well, you look excited. What can I say? Life's pretty awesome. All right, second team stepping off, first team stepping in. All right, let's uh, get 45 seconds of room tone. Everybody quiet. I'm picking up some chewing. Can we get quiet on background? Quiet on background. All right, guys, ready to go. Martini shot, everybody please be quiet. Rolling. Camera speeds. Scene 1A. Take 8. And action. Has Ray called you yet? No. I'm still waiting on his response, though. Figures. Look, we gotta keep this under wraps. What's the point, Jonathan? You know he's just gonna find out. <sighs> no, he won't. There is much more at stake than a two-bit friend. And cut. That's a wrap, everyone. Stu's happy again. He just rocked that final take. Can't wait to tell him we're going to be working with Ben Mencheronto. He's going to flip. Paul, though. Oh, shit. He has no idea. Oh, man. I'm a bum. Fuck it. You're a fucking loser, Paul. Everybody hates you. You did. In the past ten minutes, you've called me nine times. What? Whoa, you look like shit. Ugh, what's wrong? Why can't you ever just leave me alone? I'm a big loser. I messed everything up with you, and now Matt wanted me to go do him a favor, and he doesn't appreciate anything that I do. What? Ugh. Look, Paul. You're not a loser. Just because I didn't want to date you anymore doesn't mean I didn't still want to be friends. You hate me. No, I don't hate you. I just wasn't really into you anymore. You know, on a relationship level. You're actually a pretty talented and funny guy. You mean that, Shelley? Yeah, I do. Now put the bottle down. You're better than that. Stupid. You're right. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> scared me. Hello? Hey, Paul. It's Marcus. Sorry about those losers bothering you while you with your client. If there's any confusion about the razors, hey. Between you and I, a loan. I'm giving you 1850. Keep up the hustle. Someone needs to hold down the fort. Keep going. Keep moving forward. You got a future. Really? <laughs> thank you. Marcus, really, thank you so much. Please. Don't tell Maria about this. I'm counting on you, really. Don't mention this at all. And I changed the password so that- That little shit Charlie can't get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. I think. Mm -hmm. Everything all right, Paul? <gasps> they did it, Shelly! <laughs> did what? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, oh shit, Paul. Ugh. Nasty. Well. What a day. Who knew Orville and Glyphbird would come in to save the day, so to speak? And thanks to Roger Hauser. I wonder how he knows so many people. Ah, uh, who cares? I got a new pilot to shoot. Can't wait to explain it all to- Hey, Mr. Hopkins. Everybody else is wrapped. They're the only one left. Oh. Sorry. See you later, Jimmy. Alright, I'll see you later. 
<laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Well, here I am, surrounded by this awesome group of people, here to debut Blood and Sacrifice. I'm pretty nervous, actually. Didn't expect that many people to show up. An hour ago, hardly anyone was here. Just Orville and Glyphberg and Mac, of course. Everyone else on the crew flaked. Well, Matt, it is a Wednesday night. You know, I don't know why you had to have the rap party tonight, but uh, people are just busy, man. Yeah, in all fairness, it is a weeknight. But still, so many people were invited. As I was about to start the film without them, there was a knock on the door. We're here, fuckers, let's watch this bitch. It was Paul's work buddies. And that Gugus character as well. So awesome. This was totally unexpected. Then all of a sudden... The actors have arrived. Some of the cast showed up. So much love. Sorry we're late. There's a ton of traffic. It just kept going. Hello, my beautiful flowers. Pam, come on. Wow, sunflower. Long time no see. So, uh... Bart, he would have loved to have been here, but, uh, he's in jail. Um, come on, babe, let's go. First time seeing her when I'm sober. Then Mr. D showed up, all the way from the East Coast. Paul was completely surprised. It was a pretty touching moment. What are you doing here? I couldn't miss the opening of Blood and Sacrifice. Aw, oh, man, Mr. D is the shit. Coming over here for Blood and Sacrifice? Hey, I'm here. Let's see blood and sacrifice! Holy shit! Even Ben Toronto made an appearance! Fucking awesome! Next thing I knew, I was surrounded by a nice audience. All here to watch a film I made. Or, should I say, we made. <laughs> well, now that everyone's here, let's uh, watch Blood and Sacrifice. Love our name, Hop and Rose Productions. It's a nice fusion between Stu and I. Rogers is cool too. Too bad he couldn't be here. Been a long time. How are you, my brother? Dennis. You're hanging out with the wrong crowd, bro. I love the chemistry between Jose and Mac. Jose couldn't be here either. Rumor has it him and Clara, Todd's ex, moved to Costa Rica or some island. Guess they hit it off. Listen, I'm already poisoned. And you are gonna end up dead. And I'm only telling you this because I love you. Huh? Hey, do you, do you hear something? Sounds like something was... <gasps> oh, dude! Watch out, Wally! He's got a knife! Oh, shit! <laughs> My death scene was a riot. We shot this in the back entrance of our apartment. Stu had fun as well, playing a part in this. I did no! Oh, God, no! Intense shit. Looks like everyone's digging it. crazy scenario. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this job. Ricky's great as Rich. I love that music as well. I got it from some artist I met in Burbank at a soda shop. He scored the whole thing. Damn it, damn. I'm coming for you, I'm already, you motherfucker. I'm sure he wouldn't have done that either had he known. And another thing, I'm not sure where Dan is. We shot this scene at Paul's work, Liso Cherry. Paul, dude, I can't thank you enough for letting us shoot at your work, man. I mean, dude, it came in handy, man. I mean, well, you should thank these two. You guys got a pretty cool office. I mean, we got some caskets in the shop, but it's it's whatever. I'll keep an eye out. That's Jacko. You didn't get a chance to meet him. 
He's an actor we got last minute to play Mr. Jones. Beverly was really good as Lauren. It was great not getting slapped in the face this time. Christine, too. Everyone kicked ass. There's a bigger problem at stake. Oh, come on, Carrie. Why are you still backing Dan up? You know, he's probably on dope as well. You don't know that. Well, actually, we have pictures of Mr. Garcia going down to Central Ave and making a deal with some of the locals. Too bad none of them made it here tonight. Oh, well. They'll see it eventually. Then why is Dan missing? What is he hiding from? I am not hiding. You can see the urn right there. Dan, where have you been? Oh, Mr. Garcia. We were wondering when you would show up here. I love this scene. A lot going on. I know. I just spoke to her. We need to be going after Amoretti and Nikolai. They are the real danger. Kill it, Mac. You're killing it. My brother Dennis is just being used by them. Being used by them? I think he's being used by you and your good buddy, the cop, Rich. Judith, I know this sounds like a bad situation, but I can assure you that Dennis is innocent. I just need you to trust me. Dan, I don't know if I can trust you anymore. Look, I got this. It's nice seeing the old house we used to live in. Great times. Minus our crazy fucking landlord. Dan, why are you doing this? Just forget it's your brother and do the job for your client. Michelle, it's not that easy. Not that easy? You know what's not that easy, Dan? Is staying up all night every night worrying that you're gonna end up dead. I don't know where Stu met her, but Lisa is a phenomenal actress. Heartbreaking what I put her character through. Great with Mac, though. He knows Dennis is innocent. Oh my god, Dan, open your eyes! Look around you! Your brother is using you, and it's, it's ruining our relationship. Lisa, you just don't... I just don't know how much longer I can go on like this. <sighs> this is so cool. Either you give it up and walk away, or you say goodbye. Because I'm not going to watch you end up dead because of your drug addict's brother. What? Wow. Serious stuff. He's only using you. You don't know that, Dan. Nikolai saved me. Saved you from what? I life with disappointment, Dan. Yeah. And don't forget. A life of disillusionment. Your brother was better off, Dan. You like to believe that, wouldn't you? Hmm? You guys are poison. <laughs> Bart! Man, he's perfect as the bad guy. I had to recast Mark, the original actor I gave this role to. He was hard to work with. Left set first day we shot with him. Bart's sidekick cameo, or Toro's his name, I don't know, was such a fun guy. Hated making him a bad guy. Now this scene's on a whole new level. Can't believe we created such a dramatic piece. Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, listen to me. Look at me in the eye. Dennis. Dennis, don't, you're not gonna die, Dennis. Mac was so locked in. I almost regretted killing off Dennis in the story. Dennis, come on. Dennis, don't do this. Damn. Where the fuck are you guys? You're not gonna die. You're not gonna die, man. Please, just just hang in there. Get a hold of yourself, Dan. We gotta get Amoretti, and we gotta get Amoretti now. Crazy watching all this played back. So many memories. It took so long to make. Look, Amoretti, you can do whatever you want, but know that you're the one who caused this. You used Dennis. Now he's gone. And all because of you and your poison. Oh my goodness, your performance is so beautiful. Look! Oh. We're coming for you. You monster. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So, Mr. Garcia, are you saying that this man here is your brother? My favorite scene. I actually really want to watch this right now. Excuse me. And did you know that he was tied up in a gang being run by Mr. Nikolai Pavarini? At the time, I did not. So Richard was not involved in this gang in any way? That's exactly what I'm saying. He was there from the start. He was just trying to help us out. How long have the two of you known each other? I've known Rich for seven years, Your Honor. Your Honor, we have proof that Nikolai Pavarini started this. He's the one who corrupted Dennis. It's all there. All the evidence. Your Honor, I object! Mrs. Carroll, is there something wrong? Your Honor, don't you think it's just a little too convenient that Dan and Dennis would end up with Rich, their buddy? This isn't just some police officer. And no offense, Your Honor, but honestly, at this point, your connection is making me a little weary of this entire case. Mr. Jones, will you please sit down? Mr. Garcia, what happened to your client on the night of April 16th? He was attacked. I know it seems like it was Dennis, but it wasn't him. We have proved that he was brainwashed. Dennis Garcia is a drug addict and so is his brother Dan! Quiet in my courtroom! Yeah, Your Honor, it was dark and everything and I know Dennis was there, but he definitely had some accomplices with him. And those are the exact same accomplices who have brainwashed him and made him poison. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. I've shown you mountains of evidence that they're conspiring together and still you're gonna let them off the hook? Mr. Jones, one more outburst and you're out of here. Sit down now. Your Honor, are you seriously going to listen to these guys? We have proof. Are you fucking kidding me? Mrs. Carroll, do you want to be kicked out as well? When we shot that scene, dude, Ma Mac didn't even know what the hell to say. He literally <laughs> improv that line on the spot. Both of you two. Knock it off. All right, that's the judge Stein. Okay, Mr. Garcia. After reviewing all the evidence and the latest turn of events, the court finds you and your brother innocent. Case dismissed. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Dude, Dan Garcia, dude. <laughs> awesome. Dennis, we did it, Dennis. Now, this is pretty controversial right here. I really didn't want to do this. <laughs> oh, Dennis, I cannot live my life without you. <laughs> he was the main character and everyone loved him. But the only way I can really tell this dramatic story... ...was to kill off Dan in the end. I know it's sad, but I felt it was the best ending. He loved his brother so much, he couldn't live without him. That was awesome! You guys were fucking awesome! You guys were awesome! Yeah, so I had to change the ending of the story, if you noticed. Would have been too hard getting an entire police force to film as rich as guys. Fuck the force! I'm done! Nikolai Pavarini, you piece of shit. I'm gonna find you and take you out myself. This one's for you, Dan. Well guys, what do you say we give our wonderful director, Matt Hopkins, the credit and the applause that he deserves? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, you're freaking awesome, dude. I think we need a selfie right quick. This is such a great crew. Dude, that was awesome. I know, dude. dude. Killed it, man. All right, now for this awesome. royal selfie with all of these great people. All right. All right. Sweet. What the fuck? Dude, is that Rebecca? No. What? She wasn't... Wait. Did you invite... Wait. No. No? I don't know, man. That's fucking good shit, bro. I don't think she was here. Weird. Well, it's safe to say this premiere party was a success. Even though Ben didn't want to buy or produce it, he still showed up here to support. And I'm going to be working with him anyways with Orville and Glyphberg. Look at everyone here, though. Not your average crowd, but some of the nicest and coolest people I've ever met. These actors and crew members, friends and peers, taught me how to rise above and conquer. I can't believe it. Life is a trip. It's amazing what hard work and dedication not only gets you, but also what it inspires. Looks like Mr. Don Terrio is enjoying Patricia's company. Wait a minute. <laughs> They're getting it on. <laughs> Wild, man. Paul's having a great time. So glad he got to talk with Shelly again. He needed it. I'm also glad Stu's enjoying himself as well. He encouraged me to direct the series myself, which seemed intense at first, until I realized I'm more than qualified now. <laughs> Matt completely on the part of Dan Garcia. He gave the character so much emotion and soul. Surprised the hell out of all of us. Thank you for following us all. I know it's been an adventure. Through a lot of the crazy times, the amazing blissful moments of accomplishment I never regret moving to LA to pursue life as a screenwriter I'm not ashamed to say I'm a transplant it's been a pleasure I'll talk to you guys next time I gotta plan out this pilot with Orville and Glyphberg as the stars never dreamed I'd be saying that So what's the new show going to be about? <clears throat> Pretty much it's going to be uh, Glyphberg and Orville's uh, adventures and misadventures in L.A. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of crazy characters and stuff. Uh, pretty much Orville's going to be a screenwriter, Glyphberg's going to play his roommate, and uh, Orville's going to develop a script by the end of the season. Nice. Yeah. What's the script going to be about? Not too sure, uh, other than it's definitely going to be adventurous. That's crazy. A story in a story. <laughs> very, very meta, dude. That's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, hey, Matt. Uh, when are we gonna start shooting? Not sure. Why? Uh, <laughs> uh well, the funny thing is, uh, well, here, you can talk to Gifford. Hey, Matt, it's a funny story. I'm in Guatemala right now. Long story. I'll explain. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Dude, it's already past the first. Forgot to pay the rent. Fuck. Damn, I, I forgot too. Hey, you know what? It's okay. I'll write it right now. I'm sure a day late's not going to be a problem. Cool. All right, let's see here. Wait. What's Orlando's name? I, I really don't know. Do you know? Dude, I'm not even sure. Let me check the lease. <laughs> no way. What?
Hello? Mr. Rosewood. Yeah, this is, uh, Mr. Bean. Yeah, uh... You remember me, right? So, you haven't paid your rent, and it was due yesterday. And I hate to be a bother knowing that you're just settling in and all. But, uh, if you could get that to me within the next couple of days... That would be fantastic. Have a nice life, assholes. Fuck! Shit! Oh my goodness! And that's why you no longer have a client. Hey. Psst. Psst. Hey. Psst. Hey, you. Can I help you? Are you sharing? Yes, but I don't have any cookies. No, no. I'm not here for cookies. I'm looking for representation. Thank you.